Good morning, my dear children. I am back again. Children, we already learnt about the concept of tens and ones. Today, we try to understand this concept through an abacus. So, children, this is an abacus, and these are beads. Now I will teach you how we learn counting using an abacus. The abacus has two rods and many beads. One rod is for tens and the other is for ones. Each bead in the tens rod represent one ten and each bead in the ones rod represent one one now we will read numbers using an abacus look there is one bead in the tens rod and two beads in the ones rod one two one bead in the tens rod mean one ten Two beads in the ones rod mean two ones. So the number is twelve. One, two, twelve. That is one ten and two ones. I repeat, one ten and two ones. Now there are no beads. In the ten rod, that means zero tens, and three beads in the ones rod, one, two, three, that is three ones. So we get the number as three, that is three ones. I repeat, that is three ones. Now there are four beads in the tenth rod. One, two, three, four. That means four tens and zero bead in the ones rod. That means zero ones. So the number is forty. Four zero forty. That is four. Tens and zero ones. I repeat, four tens and zero ones. Now activity time. Now we have to write today's date. What is the date today? Today the date is twenty first May. Two thousand twenty, and today's topic is tens and ones. Count the beads on the abacus and write the number. Now let's count how many tens and how many ones are there. Zero bead in tens rod, and one. Two, two beads in the ones rod. Now, question number two. As you can see, zero bead in tens rod and one, two, three, four, four beads in ones rod. So we will write four. Now, last question. One bead in tens rod. So we will write one. And zero bead in ones rod. So we will write zero. One zero ten. So children, the rest is your homework. Okay. Okay children that's all for today
keep practicing and happy learning bye bye